Every NAMPA fire engine and ambulance is equipped with a Narcan overdose kit. I'm your NAMPA neighborhood reporter, Keith Burrell, and I'm learning more about what makes this program unique in NAMPA. Overdoses happen often in NAMPA, and like most cities, first responders are armed with Narcan, the life-saving overdose reversal drug. On every apparatus in NAMPA fire, we carry uh, a few overdose rescue kits. Um, we use these when we identify at-risk uh, people in our community. Battalion Chief Tom Hardy says in Nampa, they also leave Narcan behind in case it's needed again, as part of the Nampa Narcan initiative that started in 2023. We have a pamphlet that we can leave behind. Within the pamphlet is uh, information on using the Narcan. Um, there's also um, 1 800 contact number that puts them in touch with counselors. They can get into treatment. The initiative isn't unique to Nampa, but a key component is. What happens after someone has administered Narcan is equally important. Connecting those survivors with community resources. Ours is the only one that uses a uh, peer support component to it, where our peer support representative will touch base with them, make contact, get them, they, they know which uh, drug center or which facility helps them the best and gets it's them the person. assisted into getting admitted into a treatment program and then follows up with them on a monthly basis. And that's where Jake Evans comes in. 10 years sober of opioids himself, he's made it his business to help people who want to overcome their addictions. It's like, here's three options you can go to that can accept you right now. And you know what's even better is, is that I'm gonna, if they can't accept you right now, I'm gonna get you to the Caldwell Crisis Center. You call me as soon as, as soon as you're out and have your case manager call me and I'll set up transportation from point A to point B for you. The Nampa Narcan initiative is funded in part by settlement money from opiate manufacturers. Just over a year into the initiative, Nampa EMS tells me 226 people have been admitted for treatment, 42 of those clean for over six months. And, and, and that's a huge difference maker is the fact that like we have our police, our fire, our, our emergency room systems, our, our emergency response systems, um, the providers in the community, everybody's behind this idea. And I think that's really what's driving the change to the success that we're seeing. And the Nampa Police Department are also part of this program. However, they give out pamphlets only and do not administer the Narcan. From the Nampa Fire Department, I'm your Nampa Neighborhood Reporter, Keith Burrell for Idaho News 6.